George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Ah! Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle lives a life that's free. Ah! Watch out for that tree! When he gets in a street, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. And eat, eat, eat. Then away he'll schlep on his elephant ship while fella and Ursula stay in step. Well, George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. Ah, watch out for that tree. Watch out for that ah, tree. George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. Of the jungle, strong as he can be. Ah, 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 ah. Watch out for that tree. When he gets in the scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. And ding, ding, ding. <laughs> then away he'll schlep on his elephant ship while Fella and Ursula stay in step. Well, George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. Ah, 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 ah. Watch out for that tree. The District Commissioner's proudest boast was the Nairobi and Grand Trunk Railway, which opened up the inner fastness of the jungle. It's a wizard way to go, gentlemen. Hmm. Ah! Good heavens, Carruthers. What's that? Appears to be an ape of some sort. Oh. It doesn't seem smart enough for an ape. It's George of the jungle. What is it, George? Steel track, Commissioner. Steel track. Yes, George. Steel track is what makes it ride so smooth. <laughs> what happened? George, say already. Somebody steal track. It was true. Some evil miscreant had made off with 25 miles of railroad track, leaving only a barren swath through the jungle. Our railroad is missing. <laughs> what is it, George? Steel track. George, make joke. <laughs> Please, George. There's only one man in all Africa whose evil mind could conceive of such a dastardly crime. Ladislaus Prosnicki. Ladislaus Prosnicki? It was first name that came to mind. No, I mean our local mad scientist. You mean that dentist fellow from Illinois who turned to a life of crime? Yes, Dr. Chicago. That's me, Dr. Chicago. So they're on to me, are they? Well, I'll be ready for them. <laughs> First, we must find out how he's stealing the railroad tracks. Steal tracks? <laughs> oh, stop it, George. It's my guess he'll try to get the rest of them. Commissioner right? there go one now. George, that rail is stealing itself. Steal track, steal track. Oh, 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 oh. George! Grab the next rail that goes by. George did, and made an amazing discovery. The rail was being carried by one large African ant. Stand back! But when the commissioner tried to step on the tiny thief... <whistles> he judoed me! Hey, why you don't pick on somebody your own size? Follow that ant. Not too closely. His superb jungle training allowed George to track the ant through the thick underbrush until they came to a large clearing. George, look! Those super ants are using my rails to help build an impregnable fortress. Yes, a fortress from which I, Dr. Chicago, will rule the world. <laughs> Come, George, we're going to get to the bottom of this in a hurry. Commissioner right. we get to bottom and hurry. Quick, George, call for help before they seal us off. Unfriendly ants put us here. George, call friendly ants to save us. Good idea. <coughs> sure enough, high above in the clearing, there was a rustling in the underbrush, and two friendly ants emerged. Hello, Jemima. Mame, what a lovely hat. Unfortunately, George had called the wrong kind of friendly ant. And now, since you won't be around to see it happen, I shall reveal my secret plan. I just knew you would. In this flask is the world's total supply of my invention, concentrated essence of elephant. 
concentrated essence of elephant? It gives any creature the strength of a hundred powerful pachyderms. Watch. And Dr. Chicago fed a tiny drop of the extract to a hummingbird. No, oh, I can see it all now. Ants that can mop up a marine. Beetles that can take on a tank. Mosquitoes that can pulverize a plane. And this ruler of the world, that little old kingmaker, me. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? Feel tracked. <laughs> now, I shall feed essence of elephant to the centipede and watch him stomp you to death. George, we've got to do something. All right, then. How this for openers? Well done, George. Now swat the doctor. Too late. The sly fiend had made his escape and was heading for the roof where a helicopter waited to whisk him away. He left a few drops of essence of elephant. Drink it, George. <laughs> now, how do we get out of here? This way. But there's no door. Now there is. In a few moments, our friends were outside. Ta-ta, gentlemen. I shall continue my plan in some other district. Oh, we stop him. Use your head, George. Right. Well done, George. The fortress is ruined. Me too. Now rebuild railroad. With these rails? They're bent hopelessly out of shape. But Super George wouldn't take no for an answer. Using the bent and twisted rails, he single-handedly constructed what is today one of Africa's most popular tourist attractions, the Nairobi and Grand Trunk Scenic Railway. But this railroad goes nowhere. I know, but it's such a thrill getting there. Whee! So the essence of elephant was used to benefit mankind. Yes, now George hungry. Well, what would you like, dear? Buffalo steak, antelope chops? Uh. You got any peanuts? When you find yourself in danger, when you're threatened by a stranger, when it looks like you will take a licking, <laughs> there is someone waiting who will hurry up and rescue you. Just call for Super Chicken. <laughs> but if you're afraid, you'll have to overlook it. Besides, you knew the job was dangerous when you took it. <laughs> he will drink his super sauce and throw the bad guys for a loss, and he will bring them in alive and kicking. <laughs> there is one thing you should learn when there is no one else to turn to. Call for Super Chicken. <laughs> This is Yellowbone National Park, so-called because of the many fossil bones left by the dinosaurs of long ago. Uh, Correction, uh, these are chicken bones left by the litterbugs of last season. Oh. Of course, the outstanding attraction of Yellowbone is its famous geyser, Old Faceful. Many people do not know why it is called Old Faceful. They always find out. And this is an habitual criminal called the geezer. Today marks the climax of 30 years of thievery for, are you ready for this? The geezer is stealing the geyser. Down, boy, down! Uh, grab it! But why would anyone want to steal a geyser? Why not? There's a million things you can do with a geyser. Such as? Uh, well, it, uh, I'll think of something. On that same day, Henry Cabot, Henhouse III, and Fred were touring the park, inspecting the many interesting chicken bones. A sight like that certainly makes me thankful. For what? That nobody's ever found a way to fricassee a lion. Look, Fred, there's Old Faceful, the famous geyser. I didn't know it was portable. It isn't, Fred. Somebody is stealing it. What would anybody want with a geyser? There's a million things you can do with a geyser, Fred. Such as? Uh, no time to explain, Fred. This looks like a job for... Super chicken. Right. Or is it Smokey the Bear? In a nearby grove of trees, Henry changed into his super suit while Fred mixed the powerful super sauce. Thanks, Fred. How come you said, ah, before you drank it? Why wait till the last minute, Fred? The super sauce went to work, and soon the nature-loving chicken was changed to a geezer-hating super chicken. To the super coat, Fred. We're going for the geezer with a geyser. Roger Wilcox. And the mighty bird took to the air. He should be easy to spot, Fred. Why? It's pretty hard to disguise a geyser. Aha! There it is. 
I don't see a thing. You can't see it, Fred, but my supervision tells me it's just below us. Gee, I wish I had supervision. I do the best I can for you, Fred. Hang on! Unfortunately, what Super Chicken had spotted was not a geyser, but a gusher, an oil gusher. And the Super Coop was now covered with black, greasy kid stuff. What a mess! Yes, better keep an eye out for a car wash, Fred. Why me? You're the one with the supervision. Do you think I'm going to waste a gimmick like that on looking for car washes? Hey, there's one. But as fate would have it, that particular car wash had just opened under new management. The geezer's geyser. Super car wash. I told you I'd think of something. This car wash will make me a mint. Afraid not, Mr. Geezer. That geyser is going back to Yellowbone Park, and you're going back to jail. But the geezer was not to be captured so easily, for he darted into the control booth of his super car wash. It's no use, geezer. We're not going to budge an inch till you come out. I hate to say this, super chicken, but we're budging. Yes, a powerful chain had fastened itself around their ankles and was dragging them toward the geezer's super car wash. Never fear, Fred. I still have an arsenal of secret weapons. Not for long, Super Chicken. Well, so much for the secret weapon. Got my best plumed hat, too. Well, I've still got my super brain. I thought that went with the hat. The geezer now put the car wash into high gear, and our heroes began to have a very rough time. They had their white sidewalls steep. Oh, oh, oh. oh. They had their bumper guards polished. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Their grill work cleaned. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. And then they were pushed into the roaring steam of old baseball itself. Yeah! Oh. Hang tough, Fred. I think we're through the worst of it. Not quite, Super Chicken. And the geezer activated his giant blower. There's more than one way to pluck a chicken. <laughs> We'll never get out of this in one piece, Super Chicken. I know, Fred. I'm losing pieces already. There's only one thing to do. What? Can't you guess? No. Give up? Now, there's an idea. Hey, Geezer, we give no, up. No, no, no. I'm talking about my total destruct button. But that'll blow up five city blocks and us with it. You can't make an omelet without breaking eggs, Fred. But we're not cooking, Super Chicken. It's just a matter of time. Look. The geezer is sending us into the infrared drying oven. I was wrong. Somebody did find a way to fricassee a lion. Okay, push the button. Bye, Fred. Don't think it hasn't been... What happened? You must have been standing at the exact center of the explosion, Fred. But what about you? I was slightly to one side. But in just a short time, our friends had things put to rights again. Yes, Fred, the geezer is safely locked in that jail. Super Chicken, that's old faithful. You put the geyser in jail by mistake. I did? And if the geyser's in jail, where's the geezer? He's uh, earning an honest living, Fred. Where? In Yellowbone National Park. The mighty chicken had triumphed again. So when you hear that cry in the sky, you'll know that super chicken goof. One of America's fastest growing sports is drag racing, an exciting competition where way out looking machines take the green light for a quarter mile burst of blinding speed. Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. This is your announcer, Dick Tulane, bringing you the top event in drag racing. It's the forthcoming drag classic sponsored by Arnold Forthcoming, the Magneto King. The drag's in the bag with the forthcoming mag. Thank you for them words, Arnold. 
What a field of contestants we have on hand. There's the race-driving movie star, Steve McQueasy, and his wife, Screen Big Wheeler. There's Harley Angel and his switchblade top hopper. Hiya, Harley! Harley's a real competitor, yes, sir. Yay! And here, in the modified Thunderbolt grease slapper, the defending champion and all-around All-American, Tom Fleck. Yay! And for the first time in drag racing history, a competitor from the reaches of outer space, Dranko the Dragster from the planet Earth. Yay! Dranko, I welcome you in the name of clean competitive sport yeah. and the United States of America. Not necessarily in that order. Yay! Yay! Cut the handshake, Jazz Buster. Let's drag. A surly kind of chap, Marigold. Hi, Tom Baby. All ready for the big go? Steady, Gertie Growler. That jet-powered skateboard is no toy. Remember, Tom, Gertie set the land speed record for skateboards, 81 miles an hour. Well, it made 100, only my specs fogged up. Look, Tom. Drankle the dragster is fueling his rail with fuels. Right. These power pills are guaranteed to go to work fast, fast, fast. Twice as fast as regular fuels. Fancy fuels don't worry me, Drankle. But besides the pills, I also have a secret weapon. A secret weapon? I cheat! Ill-mannered fellow. The first team will be run between Tom Slick and Steve McQueasy. There they go. The winner, Tom Slick. Yay! Well, it's back to Hollywood and the race to stardom. The next heat will be between Dranko the Dragster from outer space and that tough competitor, mighty tough competitor, Harley Angel. And uh, there they go. Uh-oh, Harley's car is still at the starting line. The winner, Dranko the Dragster. <laughs> What's this? Harley Angel crying because his car wouldn't start? Just goes to show you, folks, even fellas like Harley have their gentle side. But mostly they're tough, mighty tough. Too bad, Angel baby. Perhaps the vital little part I removed from your car has something to do with it. What vital little part? The engine! Okay, now. And now for the final drag for the championship between clean living contestant Tom Slick and that bad example for young folks everywhere, yeah. Dranko the Dragster. It's up to you to strike a blow for decency, Tom. That's what I'm here for, Marigold. I thought it was for the $10,000 first prize. That too. Any second now. Hmm. Tom Slick is not one to be taken in by obvious tricks. I must conjure up some way to distract him. Might as well go back to planet Myth, Bobby. Tom's going to clean you like a dirty windshield. The old lady. Eh, <laughs> the very thing. Uh-oh. Dranko has just flipped one of his power pills into Gertie Growler's intake manifold. Oh! Land of Goshen! Crime and mentalist! Oh. Tom, Gertie Growler is on a runaway skateboard. You must save her. But Marigold, the light is flashing yellow. <laughs> Quite a little dilemma you got there, Buster. Well, I... Uh... This is no time for indecision, Tom. There's no such word as indecision in drag racing, Marigold. I just can't make up my mind. It is a tense moment, but look, Gertie Growler's runaway skateboard has just swerved onto the drag strip. And uh, there they go. It's the drag of the century. Gertie Growler is in the lead with Tom Slick and Drango. Up cap to up cap behind her. Now the Thunderbolt Grease Slapper forges ahead. Hop aboard, Gertie. Is that you, Tom Boy? Wouldn't you tell, Gertie? Nope. My specs fogged up again. The winner and still champion, Tom Slick. Yay! You see, Mr. Dranko, on Earth or off it, cheaters never prosper. Yeah, but what bugs me is, uh, that skateboard beat me too. Never fear, you will get your just desserts. Don't be silly, Toots. Good guys like Tom Slick never hold a grudge. Bad guys like me do. Here, Dranko, 
Have a few of your own power. And there goes Dranko the dragster back to planet Mirth. Without even saying goodbye, he has no manners at all. He won't trouble us again, thanks to Harley Angel. Yes, Marigold. Even fellows like Harley Angel are good guys sometimes. But mostly they're tough. Mighty tough. George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in the scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. And ding, ding, ding! Then away he'll schlep on his elephant ship while fella and Ursula stay in step. Well, George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. Watch out for that tree! Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me.